And there it goes. The Super Chief. El Capitan. El Capitan. There's the back. So I, you can see I got all... Plus some extras. I'm just collecting different... Uh, Northern Pacific. Uh, the... Uh, Zephyr and a Union Pacific. Here it comes. We're running three engines, an A, a B, and an A. And then the mail car, a baggage car, and then the several uh, passenger, the Vista, and then the end. And I'm running this nice and slow, and it's going around this. There, it should be coming up, back up again. But this is a good one. It's nice and slow and pulling them all just like it should. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six seems to be the magic number without having too many derailments or it uncouples and then I've got to fish it up and it always uncouples in a tunnel so I think I've got this pretty much down I love that thing I mean that's my favorite diesel because I remember those from when I was a kid those are the trains that were running Santa Fe's and uh, Union Pacific saw a lot of I can saw Union Pacific and an Amtrak tonight. But here we'll get a shot of it coming around to the end. Here we go. Here comes the war bonnet. A B A. One, two, three. Double bat deck. Double with the and then one last with it's light. Right here is a Northern Pacific. This is Loch Ness. This is an older Union Pacific with a Vista Dome. Whatever they called it. That one's a Zephyr. And I'm not going to get all the collections, but since I've got a couple of Zephyrs, I'm going to go ahead and buy a, a A and a B locomotive to run the uh, other cars from uh, Western Pacific not whatever this is Santa Fe because Santa Fe had this the Super Chief El Capitan which ran like 14 cars and it had when it was running the 14 cars it had an A, B, B, A so it had 4 engines pulling and the Zephyr, which actually ran at 100 miles an hour, going from Oakland to Chicago, pulling these suckers, uh, that only had what I got here, a uh, 3, A, B, A, that's A, the B unit, and another A backwards, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, by six pretty light running beautifully smooth quiet just how I like it up here is something I'm working on but uh, I'm using it mainly just to store cars on there and just get everything together there you go You know, when it runs like this and everything's just popping on all cylinders, you go, oh yeah. And you just sit back and watch. But look at all these trains I'm getting. Look at these. Just these two are, that's mucho money right there. But look at all the damn. I'm just buying stuff up like crazy. I'm well over... 15 grand into trains. All because I bought this 
styrofoam thing for 50 bucks, which got me on a kick. Now I'm going to expand this line out to here because this is all just junk piled. This is a storage room. Moving all this and putting two more feet of track out so I can have more stuff and so I can have some kind of yard. So, because right now this is the yard and that ain't much of a yard, I'm telling you. And I have trains everywhere, so. But it's cool enough. But my goal is always to be, have a mountain scene and a desert. And then mining, which is all going on up there. So down here will be desert. And this. Just wanted to show you that much of the uh, Santa Fe uh, Super Chief running with the with the uh, six. Count them six. But I just got the new one. Just so I got A B A. One, two, three, four, five, and uh, six. Go Kato, Kato, Kudo, Kudos to Kato, Kato. <laughs> See is. I also want to get the big boy, but somebody talk me out of it, please. See, look at all these Arnolds that I used to run. Now I don't want to touch them. I'm a friggin' Kato man. Believe me, I am. <laughs> All right, lights. Let's catch a good shot here. Should do one without lights. See what it catches here. Under this, here it comes. Bye bye.